Hi people, I'm Shayna Taylor, founder of Bottle and Stone in Shayna's Kitchen, and welcome to my kitchen. I'm going to start first with showing you guys the fridge, since that's my, well I guess not my favorite, but one of my favorite places since it's all my fruits and veggies and where they get stored. So I will come right over here. The fridge is actually a little more empty than usual, but I always have my glass bottle waters here. Um, we've gotten rid of plastic a long time ago. Bitchin sauce, which is one of my favorites of all time. I always like to dip it in my siete chips. Um, I put all of my veggies in these great um, veggie bags. It actually helps preserve your veggies a little bit longer, so you get the bag a little wet, keeps them fresh. Um, I have my favorite gluten-free bread here, my eggs. You, you can get the, get the idea. All my favorite fruits and herbs. Uh, herbs are the trick to everything as a chef, including in the kitchen. Um, I love to put herbs in all my salads and obviously marinades for my fish or chicken, what so have you. And of course, all my sauces, my favorite thing ever, which is my homemade almond pecan milk. Um, I make this every two or three days. It's actually quite easy, but it's uh, mostly for my matcha lattes in the morning, which are my favorite. I have my Shana's Kitchen matcha up here. I have a bunch of random things. And then next, I'm going to show you my pantry. So pantry has loads of weird things in it. I try to keep it as organized as possible, but sometimes it gets difficult because I love to just buy so many different things to cook with. So um, on the top here, I have my favorite siete uh, chips. I have some Asha Pops, my favorite protein powders. I love a good uh, screen smoothie with, with my vegan protein powder. That's one of my favorites. Tons of random things, hemp seeds, um, all my favorite nuts and goodies. And then I love using these glass containers just to refill um, with all my favorite baked goods. Just makes it look a little bit more organized so it's not so many bags since I have so many in here. Obviously, all the different gluten-free flours, coconut, etc. And then my favorite appliances, which is Vitamix and Juicer. Um, I use a cold press juicer. You just get more nutrients from uh, the juices. Just my little vitamin cabinet. And also my alcohol cabinet. <laughs> goes together, definitely goes together. Um, yeah, so I have most of my favorite supplements. The ones that I take the most are my pre and probiotics. I have bottle and stone here. Actually, which is my CBD line. This is what I love to take in the morning or at night or midday, depending on um, my mood, I guess, or pain or anxiety. And then I have all kinds of different things, CoQ10, um, a lot of different other tinctures, electrolytes I like to take since I sit in my infrared sauna a lot. It's good to replenish your electrolytes after that. And yeah, that's about it. And mezcal is my favorite uh, if we're talking alcohol. And this is also my favorite organic coffee. Even though I don't really drink coffee that much, if I do or if I have guests, this is the one that I recommend to everyone. And that's that. Okay, next, I'm coming over to this part, which is my favorite part of the kitchen in the morning. Uh, my little tiny matcha set up here, uh, which is to make my matcha lattes in the morning. So I have my traditional setup with my whisk and my bowl. This is my little matcha sifter. This is what, if you were to make it the traditional way. And then, of course, I have my matcha latte milk frother, which makes life a lot easier when you want a latte in the morning. And again, I keep one of my CBD tinctures here just in case I want to add it to my latte. It's super easy to put into lattes or food, so it just reminds me that sometimes I need to take it in the AM before I get to work. Then I have, of course, next to the stove, my olive oil collection as well as my goat ski. I prefer goat just because goats and sheep's milk are the easiest for the body to process if you're gonna have it. And I love all different kinds of oils. So of course, everybody needs a delicious cold pressed olive oil. So important to cooking and salads and just um, health in general. And then I love to throw in some sesame oil sometimes, walnut oil, um, and then I have my collagen, which I take every day, twice a day. Um, it has helped tremendously with my hair. I love to put it in my lattes. I put it in water sometimes. This is like one of my favorite things on the planet that I just discovered is a cinnamon maca almond butter. And it is, it's just so good. It's, it's, it's 
very good. I have this really interesting obsession with collecting different ceramics that I like. I think maybe because I love the ceremony in the morning of having a cup of matcha in the morning. I don't know what it is, but I figured I would show you. I put all my collection of different cups in this little cabinet, as well as obviously some ceramic plates that I use mostly and some teas. But every set of ceramics I've gotten from a different place, um, Mexico, Joshua Tree, uh, here in Venice, um, just different local artisans that love ceramics as much as I do, but I like to, to collect them. So yeah, that's my, my little tree ceramic collection. Uh, since I love all the colors of my fruits and whatever I can fit here, I love to display a lot of my staples in my home. So I always have lemons, I always have limes, I always have grapefruits, papaya is one of my favorite uh, fruits, bananas of course, and then I have my secondary little onion, garlic, potato, squash, um, easy to grab when you're cooking in the kitchen. And it also just looks uh, beautiful and yeah, it's a nice little counterpiece. So another thing that I always have a staple in my kitchen is a tea brewing on the pot. So this one is one I've been drinking a lot. Probably doesn't look as appetizing as you would think, but it's a great lymphatic tea. So it has tons and tons of dry flowers and herbs that are incredible to detox the body. And there's also some ginger in there. So this is always on the counter, whether it's hibiscus or it's lemon tea or it's ginger fennel. I always love to have a nice pot of tea uh, that you can drink kind of throughout. So yeah, don't mind the pot. Herbs are such a staple in my kitchen. I don't have an herb collection in the kitchen, but I have an herb little pot right outside the door here, and I would love to show you guys what it looks like. So I'll take you down. It's right outside my kitchen window right here. This crazy looking bush is actually pineapple basil, uh, which is my favorite for smoothies, for salads, all the above. And these are edible flowers as well that are really good to add to salads or on top of any kind of dish, I guess, really. And then I have my favorite, which is dill, mint, oregano, thyme, parsley, tarragon, lemon balm, and then I just planted my two new little peppers, uh, which I can't wait because I love, just love spicy so much. something.